نحمد و نسلی علیہ رسول الکریم رسپیکٹیڈ ویورس ان چیپٹر فائیو ورس نمبر فورٹین اللہ سیز وی آلسو میڈ اے کاؤنٹ ود دوز ہو سے وی آر کرسچنس بٹ دے فر گاٹ مچ آف گڈ پارٹ آف دا میسیج دیٹ واز سینڈ ٹو دیم سو وی اسٹرڈ اپ اینمیٹی اینڈ ہیٹریڈ بٹوین دیم ٹل دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ اینڈ سون ول اللہ شو دیم واٹ اٹ از دے ہیو ڈن In this verse, first, Allah says that a covenant was made with the people who call themselves Christians. In the Quran, you will never find the word Christian anywhere because Christian is a nickname, a sarcastic word given by the people of Antioch in 44, 45 or 46 AD uh, to uh, Barnabas and Paul and his followers, etc. So Quran used a respectable word, Nasara. Nasara means Nazarin, those who were supporters or those helped Jesus Christ peace be upon him in his mission. So they made a covenant. What covenant? Covenant of you know, God with these people, the Christians, was same as the covenant of earlier prophets. No difference. Worship one God. Pay charity. And there were many things. And circumcision was part of the covenant. So also the belief in the Prophet Muhammad, who was, you know, about to come in future. In John, Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse 16. Chapter number 15, verse 26. Chapter number 16, verse 7. It is mentioned. In these Bibles, contemporary Bibles, the word comforter is used. They have changed the word. They have modified the meaning of that. In the Greek Bibles, the word perikletos was used. In Urdu, it is called farklit, a perikletos. which is nothing but Ahmad. So, Jesus, peace be upon him, foretold it was a part of covenant. But what happened? They changed the covenant. God said they forgot. The Christians forgot or ignored the covenant which they made. Now, what the Christians believe, you know, they say the new covenant was instituted at the Last Supper as a part of the Eucharist. Then, it is also said that the new covenant is the law of Christ as spoken during his Sermon of the Mount and it is also associated with the New Testament. But the New Testament, the covenant today is far more different from the original covenant. So they, they change many things. The very doctrine of Christianity, the faith was changed, the belief system was changed, the, the system of worship was changed, many things have changed. So that original Christianity which was revealed by God to Jesus Christ peace be upon him is not to be seen at all. So Quran mentions about that they forgot that message. So what was that? Jesus told believe in one God. Now they made one into three, three into one. So they declared Jesus himself as a God. God forbid they, they worship him as a God. So thus they deviated from that original message. That's what the Quran says. Jesus did not bring a new message. He was a follower of, you know, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. He was a Jew. He worshipped like other Jews. He visited the synagogues. He, he used to visit the temple. Worship like other Jews. Same as them. They were no different. He never told that I have brought a new religion. In fact, he said, I am following them. Just he was reviving Judaism, you can say, the, the faith of Prophet Moses. So what they did here, in fact, they changed so much that you can say after uh, historians say, after 70 AD, when the second temple was destroyed and the Jews were totally scattered, you know, extirpated, we see the revival of a new religion called Christianity. It was very much, you know, shaped by Paul and his associates. The present Bible, there are so many gospels, more than 50 gospels, but it is said about the canonical gospels, four of them, which are accepted by modern Christianity, about them, Encyclopedia Britannica, 14th edition, it, it says, even Matthew, Mark and Luke did not consider or did not believe Jesus as a God. Rather, they thought Jesus was a man. And The history of Christianity was full of bloodshed and violence. Heresy, per inquisition, persecution was 
part and parcel of Christian history. You know, uh, scholar Andrew Stephenson, he describes late antiquity as one of the darkest period in the history of Christianity. Another scholar, Gregory of Nazianzus, he lamented that the kingdom of heaven had been converted into the image of hell by the religious discord. So, what Quran predicted 1400 years ago proved to be accurately correct. So, what we see, Quran said they will never unite. You know, there were 21 ecumenical councils in history to unite all the sects of Christianity, but they failed. Even there were division among the ecumenicals. So, thus, the message of Christianity was totally distorted and result was bloodshed, violence. It is said persecution was worse ever in history in Christendom on religious grounds. May Allah show us the right path. Wa akhiru dawan in alhamdulillah rabbil alamin.